Welcome, today I'll be teaching you on how to make custom Cortana commands. Now let's start. First create a blank universal windows application. Let's name it Cortana commands. Add a XML file that we will use later for the command voice commands. Now go to the main code and add some imports. On the on launch Put this snippet of code that will be used later to register those commands on the XML file. And after that, add another pr project to our solution, a runtime project. Name it Cortana RT. This will be used as a background project. Name the class Cortana Background Task. Now go to the app manifest and add an app service to the declarations. Follow as is, then let's implement the background task. Make sure it is inheriting the i background task and just follow as is as what I am been doing. Implement all this so that Cortana can hear you without really opening the, the application itself so it will run from background to the XML file and let's create the voice commands follow the th the tags that I've been using now for the commands make sure you make the name unique because you'd really really need that layer and for the listen for this is what will Cortana listen for as well as for the feedback is what Cortana will say the voice service target is the one that we defined in the app manifest Now, for the switch, let's use the command name that we have declared a while ago as the case. Now, let's complete the code and implement the remaining events. It's just a deferral that complete. Apply it on both. Then add a reference in the main project to the Cortana RT project. Well, this is very limited, so we should use a brokered component so that we can use .NET code. Now add a new project, call it proxy, then another project. This would be the server project that we will we'll use to have access to the full API of the desktop. As you can see here, you can use .NET codes here, like the process function. So here I'm just gonna create a simple process function command that accepts an argument in a file name. Now build the server project, it will generate files that will be used for the proxy. Now add those to the proxy, the generated files, the for one. Then after that, build the proxy. This will create the DLL that we will use later so that it, our app can communicate to the server. Now, add the generated WIM file which is on the bin folder of the server so that we can reference our app, main app in the Windows RT. Now, this what I'm coding right now is a simple shutdown command which takes from one minute add this extension to the app manifest you can view the code by using right click then view code then register all the files that is made in this debug in the project folder register the DLL 
Then after that, run. After it finishes run, wait for it to register the voice commands, the Windows pop-ups that we just made earlier. Now you have a simple shutdown. It's Listen, you can you hear more me? Codes into your commands. Yes, I can hear you. And make sure to subscribe to Diversity Promotions for their awesome music. And here's a few links in describing the voice command definition. Thank you and goodbye.